everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over my top five Angela Lansbury movies in honor of Angela Lansbury, who sadly recently just passed away. Rest in peace, Angela Lansbury. I will always remember you for your role as the teapot in Beauty and the Beast. Beast, or should I say Mrs. Potts, the teapot in Beauty and the Beast. So to so I was really sad that she passed away, and in honor of her, I'm gonna talk about all my favorite movies that I've either I've seen her in or either heard her voice in because I've mostly heard her as a voice actress. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So number one in my list would have to be Beauty and the Beast, 1991. So this is the film I always recognize Angela Lansbury by because she voiced the teapot. And I really loved how she's able to put a lot of personality into her character, like a motherly form into her character. And she's really good at playing very motherly characters in her films. And I really love how her voice as Mrs. Potts. And I just love that she puts a lot of personality into her character and I really love that about her and I really love Beauty and the Beast and this is like I've said before this is the film I mainly recognize her by because this was one of my favorite movies growing up and I do have two reviews on 1991 Beauty and the Beast and if you would like to see them they'll be linked in the description box down below would you excuse me sorry um, I was texting somebody. Anyway, um, I, that, I always just turn my camera off whenever I get text messages from people because I hate texting on camera because I think that's really rude in my opinion. So if I ever text people, I always just pause the camera. So anyway, um, number Two on my list would have to be Anastasia. So Anastasia is another one of my favorite films. I love her character as um, Anastasia's grandmother, and I really love her character. And I kind of do think that um, her character character does look a little bit like her from the facial features, and it's one of my favorite films, and I do love this movie so much. It's a really great musical film, despite the fact it's not very historically accurate in the movie. It's still a really good film, and I really remember her by this film as well. Number three on my list would have to be The Last Unicorn. Now, I haven't seen The Last Unicorn in so long, but I remember her by this film because she played, um, she played the witch, and I do recognize her voice, and I'm really impressed how she's able to put a um different personality she mostly i've heard her play motherly figures like mrs potts like very nice characters but in this one she plays a villain and she does a really good job making a role as a villain in this film and i really love how she's able to switch up her characters like going from something very motherly and kind to um somebody evil in the film Number four on my list would have to be National Velvet. So I love National Velvet. This is a really great film. Film, and I really love her character as another motherly figure in this film. She plays um, Velvet's mother. Mother, and I love how she play. I love her motherly roles in movies. Like she's really good at playing a mother, and I really love that she shows care and compassion for her um, character's children. And I really just love how she's able to play a great motherly role. Number five on my list would have to be Nanny McPhee. So Nanny McPhee, the, I, she plays in the aunt um, in law of the, she plays the aunt of the mother who had passed the deceased mother who the deceased wife of um the um main character character in one of the main characters in the film and well actually the aunt in law i should say i can't make up my mind anyway so i love how she is 
a really good character in this movie. I really love how she kind of see uh, becomes more of a stricter character than um, ra when she a more of a strict character in this film, as opposed to her other roles where she plays mostly more motherly figures and very kind and compassionate figures. And I just love how she's able to switch up her role throughout the film. Like she goes to play a villain in an animated film or voice a villain, I should correct myself, in an animated film from playing film. And I just love how she's able to switch her roles all the time, which I think is very, very neat. And I love the fact that she's able to um, just switch up her characters, which I think is super duper cool. And I love how she just puts a lot of personality into her characters, which is amazing. Okay, so those are my top five Angela Lansbury movies in honor of Angela Lansbury. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!